Okay, so there's been a lot of talk about a new Nintendo Switch model that 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 is possibly coming out in the next year, and I want to do a video on this topic, talking about it because I want to I want to get my thoughts out there because I think I think they could possibly be doing one, but I think they're going to do something a little bit different than they did with the OLED model, and I'll explain that that uh, in a second. But if you like this kind of video. Leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, click that bell button for notifications so you guys know when I upload videos. And we're almost getting to, um, let's get the 80,000 subs, because I'm at 70,000, so thank you guys so much for the support. Let's get to 80,000, and on the road to 100,000. So, let's get there, thank you guys so much, and let's get on with the video. Okay. Now, recently, there were, there were some, some design documents for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 or the Breath of the Wild sequel, whatever you want to call it, that came out. And there's one part of the document that, that shows a diagram of the Switch and the dock and the Joy-Cons. And people are really, like, reading between the lines with this. And like, what, why are they talking about a new sw the Switch in this document? Is it, is it a new Switch? Is it another OLED special edition? Is it Whatever, and one of the videos I watched by um, RGT85, he was talking about it. Go check him out. He's he's a really good uh, content creator on this platform. Um, he does really good videos. I, I, I really enjoy his takes on stuff. So I'm going to leave his video about this topic in the description below and in the pinned con comment as well. So go check him out. Go give him, give him a subscribe as well. Because he does a lot better work than I do, <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, but I w when I was watching his video, I was thinking, like, yeah, this is this is a a possibility for sure, but there's another thing that no one else is really thinking of that they could possibly do that I think they they might do, but. Most likely, they're going to do what everybody else is thinking. Just release a whole new switch with a, with a dock and everything, and all that all that stuff. But what I think they could potentially do, and I'll get to why I, I think this in a second, is release just the tablet and Joy Con and new Joy Cons without a dock for like four hundred dollars. Or like three fifty, like the standard price of the current OLED switch, because the the thing is, people are thinking that they're gonna they're like phasing out the the old model, and they're trying to like get rid of like current stock of the OLED switch by making all these special edition consoles, like the the Splatoon one that's out, and the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet one that's coming out in November. When that comes out. And I don't think that's why they're doing it. I just think they're doing it so they can sell more of the the premium Switch model than the older, like, red box model that has the better screen in it and that has the little bit better battery life. They call it the red box model because it has, like, a red, a, a red tinted box. Um, but I don't think it's going to be a new, new system per se. I really don't. But I, like I said, I think if they do do it, they're going to release two different SKUs, one with, without the dock and one with the dock. Now the one with the dock would be like $400, I think. And they might lower the other one down to like maybe, uh, three, 350 or maybe maybe the one with the dock would be four fifty. It, it would all depend on what kind of tech is inside the tablet. And you're probably thinking to yourself, "Well, Anton, what about what about the what about the dock? The dock can't probably support four K." Well, actually, if if memory serves me, somebody was data mining one of the updates for the Switch console itself. And I think it mentioned something about like 4K 
output for the for the dock, and people were confused by that because I I think that was before the OLED, OLED switch came out with the new dock that was actually updatable. This current dock right here that I have right here is is updatable. You can update the, there's firmware inside that dock. So does that mean Nintendo could potentially push out an update in the next like six months to a year to where this would the dock would support 4K output? Probably that's what I'm thinking because it makes sense. It would make more sense for them to just release the tablet or give you the option to release just the tablet and joy cons or how just do do three SKUs. Do one with the tablet with joy cons. Do one with, with the tablet, no joy cons, and then do one with the whole package. There you go. Or do some kind of upgrade thing to where it won't be to where we as OLED adopters, like like myself, won't feel screwed out of like a new better switch. You get what I'm saying? Like, I I don't think Nintendo would want to screw over their current Switch OLED owners because we just we just dumped like three hundred seventy dollars. I'm I'm rounding up with tax. It's about like. 360 something, but whatever. Depending on where you're at, it's like 360, 370 with tax and stuff. But we paid that for our, our, our current switches. We don't want to have to buy another switch a year later. You see what I'm saying? Like, I think Nintendo will, will think about that and be like, okay, maybe we can have some kind of program where you send your current tablet in and we get we send you the upgraded model for like a hundred dollars or something something like that i don't think they'll do something like that but you never know it would be nice if they did because i would be miffed if they actually did do this because it didn't do this like upgrade program thing because it would be really annoying to just Buy a new Switch, especially if it gave better frame rates for like certain games, like Hyrule Warriors, for instance. Uh, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity specifically, because that has really bad frame rates as, as, uh, at some points. The, like the frame rate tanks when a lot of stuff's going on. And a lot of games could benefit from a new Switch model. Like, don't get me wrong, like, they're, they're not. People aren't wrong. I think people just want a new Switch bottle. That's what it is. People love the Switch. I love the Switch. It's a really fantastic system. But it is very antiquated with the technology technology that's in there. Like Nintendo, you need you need to be proactively thinking about upgrading the tech inside this tablet. But do it in a smart way to not screw over your consumers because I don't want to pay for another entire switch setup for like $450 or whatever it's going to be next year if, if I already have this one that has a dock that's upgradable that's why I hope they just basically upgrade this tablet and maybe maybe the, the docks will have, like, the most recent firmware on it. But I, I would hope it would let you be able to, like, use your current OLED dock. Because that, why else would they have an up, updatable dock with updatable firmware? It just doesn't make sense to me. You see what I'm saying? Like, it just, it doesn't make sense why they would have a dock that has firmware. Because the standard switch dock does not have upgradable firmware. That's that's the thing. Now, the other thing they could do with it, with like a newer, better dock, is give you better uh, bandwidth speeds you know, from the Ethernet port. But like realistically, I don't see them doing that 
and maybe with an update they they could unlock the Ethernet speeds that you get through the port. I have no idea if that if that would even be possible. I have no idea if that's even a thing. Or if it would have to be like one of the chips inside of the dock would have to be literally like swapped out. But I have no idea. I'm just spitballing here. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that it's possible that they could be doing a new Switch? Or do you think people are reading too much into these uh, Breath of the Wild 2 design docs? Because that's what I think. I just think they're showing what the Switch is for, for like people that are like new to the company and that they're pitching to like investors. Because not all investors are going to know what the Nintendo Switch is. That's, that's probably all this is. But maybe there is something more. Who knows? What do you guys think? Am I wrong? Am I right? Let me know in the comments below what I'm thinking. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting the channel. There's like 40 of you right now. But there's a, a special few I want to give a shout out to. Because without these two current bronze supporters, uh, I wouldn't have as much support as I do now. I mean, yes, it's only three dollars, but it's it's a it's a good amount of support for me. But so thank you all for supporting. But special shout out goes to Matt Y99 and Reaper7734. So thank you guys for supporting the channel, and thank you to everyone else that currently supports the channel and my standard starter tier. I do plan to do other tiers eventually at some point. Uh, you, you just got to give me a second to get, to get used to all this new exposure my channel has. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video and subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys enjoy my, my new content. I, I, I'm going to be working on throughout the rest of this year and throughout the rest of however long I, I do this thing. But I hope you guys enjoy my new stuff. And thank you guys for all the support. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. And peace.